It's one of the city's greatest mysteries. Why on earth do cars keep going down the streetcar tunnel on Queens Key despite the flashing lights and the many do not enter signs? Well, as of 10 this morning, the TTC has activated new automatic barriers meant to keep those cars on the other side of the tracks. Since 2014, we've had about 26, 27 cars have found their way into that tunnel uh, through some means or another. Uh, but, I mean, we've got rumble strips here. We've got the red lights here. We've got bollards back at the, the intersection. Um, and hopefully the gate here will be the last thing that really keeps cars out of this uh, tunnel. And so how does it work exactly? How will this operate? So what will happen is the streetcars will approach from both directions. Uh, they've got transponders built into them. So much like at a, at a parking lot or any other uh, system where you'd have an automatic gate, the transponder triggers the gate, gate goes up, streetcar comes through, gate goes down once it's clear, and and then, you know, uh, hopefully that's keeping the cars out. Okay, hopefully. Do, are you confident that this may work? Well, we never say never, but, uh, you know, if you make your way through the ballers, over the rumble strips, past the red lights, and through the gate into that tunnel, you've accomplished something incredibly dangerous, incredibly dumb, and we hope it doesn't happen. Uh, I, I think this is probably, you know, the, what, what will really stop cars now. The barriers cost about $60,000 to install, but the TTC says that's much less than the cost of commuter delays, overtime, and the heavy equipment used to remove those vehicles. Commuter confidence is mixed. Yeah, it'll work, I guess. I so. Why wouldn't it work? Because it's a piece of aluminum. <laughs> yeah, but they're going to see it. <laughs> they're going to see it before they run into it. That's what they're going to see? They're not going to see uh, 200 yards of yellow <laughs> line markers? Yeah, the most recent incidents happened this spring, and even with the new barricades, people are already taking bets on when the next one may happen. I say Christmas. No, I think never. I think that will stop them. Okay. I believe it. Um, tomorrow night, <laughs> over the long weekend. You're not optimistic. Yeah. I don't know. I hope. I really hope it works, because I, I take the streetcar to work, and sometimes there's cars in there, so I can't get to work. I would have to say it has to happen within the next six months. And it'll be a giant farce. Anyone who does go through the barriers and travels down that tunnel, not only will they face that embarrassment and possible damage to their vehicle, but also a $500 fine. On Queen's Key, Tammy Sutherland, City News.